chair. Absolutely. All right, <laughs> thank that you all. passes. Thank you. All right. Hold on, I gotta pause for myself. Yes. <laughs> You're like, right. yours is on. It's not as important. Thank goodness, I'm out. Um, all right, so uh, do I have a motion to um, accept the uh, agenda as written? I'll make the motion. One. Okay. And uh, second? I second it. Surely. All in favor? All right, thank you. All right, that brings us to our financial report. Uh, I don't see her. She, you doing it? Mm -hmm. um, Ms. Wills has provided me an update from December, and this is in your eboard packet. Um, the fund balance for the system is at $4.4 million in the general fund. 50% uh, of the fiscal year is completed. We have 49.78% uh, of our expenditures um, are where we are on our line item of our budget of funds, and we have received 43.22% of our revenue. And we did, right when we came back in January, uh, received an additional um, check from property taxes. So we are getting closer to our 50% revenue mark. Also in uh, November, our SPLOS funds were a little over 71,000, and we, unfortunately, that has gone down again. We do have a balance in the SPLOS funds of 2.3 million. So um, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, again, all the details of the expenditures are in your eboard packet, and they're available for our public in, in, on the QR code that's in front of you. Do we know why we're trending down? Yeah. Is it because of some closures or? Yeah, the question is why are we trending down in East Blast? Uh, previous. We're not at home. Yeah. Previously, um, we were able to, uh, we were been able, anything that is done online, yeah. so whether that's been affected with any online shopping or if just more people are traveling and they're not in the area to spend locally. And so I do ask everybody to remember any local spending in Chattahoochee County, which does include Fort Benning, the areas at Fort Benning, that is the 1% um, um, sales tax, the penny on the dollar that goes to SPLOST. And that allows us to carry on with all of our operations. So now we're going to go ahead and move into the superintendent's report. Mm -hmm. you're, you're up. Uh, for the superintendent's report, it is very brief. Um, just uh, there is an overview in your board packet um, about our enrollment. We have remained steady for second semester. Uh, currently, we have about 242 students at the elementary school, 234 at middle school, 462 at the high school. That is a slight drop in the high school. Not, not, uh, not a, a large number. However, within this week, we have had several students who are starting to register. We know that we did have our uh, typical PCS, so more students that are leaving out um, during Christmas break, those other families are coming in. In terms of employee updates, we have one teacher who is contracted through um, an employment agency through special education. She remains here uh, because we have not been able to fill that position. We have one long-term sub that is in a classroom as a teacher, and that's a retired teacher. We currently have three open positions, and that includes a parapro position. And that is the superintendent's report for semester two update. Also wanted to bring to your attention student identification badges. Those will roll out on January 17th. Every student in the district will get an ID badge. That ID badge is going to be um, not only useful for day-to-day -day operations, it is a safety mechanism for us to know who is on campus. All students will be given the badge. They'll be given a lanyard. We ask our families to encourage their students to bring that every day, to wear it. Um, we are going to add that into the handbook for next school year as an expectation, but the rest of this school year, we really want people to get accustomed to that. You will have to use that school ID to get on the school bus. Um, what that's going to allow us to do is when you scan it to get on the school bus, we will have a roster of who is on our bus. When they get off, we will have a roster on who's gotten off a bus. So if a parent calls and says, my child's not home yet, we can go immediately to our program and see where that student got on, where that student got off, and give that information to the families. In the case of an emergency, we would be able to have um, a report on if there was a bus accident. Also, that will be used in the case of any type of um, 
having to leave school campus for a safety emergency. We would be able to do a reunification immediately with who's present and be able to check students out quickly. We'll also use it for just day-to-day -day things like checking out library books and going through the cafeteria. Um, students will be able to scan that um, as they get their meals. So it's to help us with efficiency too. So we're excited about that and that will begin on January 17th. And that is last of the superintendent's update. I would like to ask Ms. Garner, our school counselor from the high school, to bring a very special presentation um, regarding one of our award-winning students. Good evening. Can you hear me on this one? Nope, try again. Can you hear me on this one? Nope. Now. No. Perfect. Okay. I'm so excited to be here with you tonight. I am given the honor to help with our star student and our star teacher nomination and process. So this evening we're recognizing our star student and the star teacher that they selected. Our star student is a, an example of an excellent student in our senior class who has one of the highest SAT scores and highest averages amongst percentile for our top senior class. So, I, sorry, I'm trying to keep as close to this as I can. The STAR Student Teacher Achievement Program recognizes Georgia's outstanding high school seniors and the teacher who has been most instrumental in their academic development. Since its inception in 1958, the STAR program has honored more than 29,000 high school seniors and their STAR teachers. So we nominate a student at the school level, which is also the regional level for Chattahoochee County and then those students are able to be recognized locally, then at the region, so that will be at Columbus State later on, and then at the state level in Atlanta. So the purpose of the STAR program is to recognize academic achievement in Georgia high schools and to motivate students to be good scholars and high achievers. And it's also to honor excellence in teaching, to promote teaching as a career, and to encourage outstanding teachers to remain in the classroom. And we definitely have that tonight with both our star student and our star teacher. Our star student for the 2023 school year for Chattahoochee County is Jarrett Gunn. Jarrett selected his star teacher and we met and discussed this and he took it very seriously. He went home, he thought about it and he said, I really have to nominate my teacher and this is the reason why. He said, this teacher pushed me the farthest while I was a student at Chattahoochee County High School and I, he told me he really thinks that she deserves it and he wanted to nominate Miss Tara Conley. So I think we'll take some time in a little bit to take pictures, but I wanted to, again, take this moment to recognize both Jarrett and Mrs. Conley for their hard work. Jarrett for his hard work in education over the last 12 years in school, as well as kindergarten and his years here at high school. He's an exemplary student. He's involved in our dual enrollment program, involved in college courses. He's a work-based learning student who's in our CNA program and works at Magnolia Manor um, as throughout the CNA program. So he's really done a great job. He's an excellent student, very kind and thoughtful. And Miss Conley is an excellent teacher, especially nominated by her student. That's a different, it's one thing to be nominated, you know, by peers, but a student saying that you've pushed them and you've done all that, it's really important. So we're so proud of both of them and we can't wait to see them at the regional um, meeting coming up soon and hopefully at state. So thank you guys, congratulations. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Uh, we're gonna move into uh, one of my favorite parts, which is our student employee recognition. And uh, we'll invite Ms. Hurd and her crew to come on up and, and start that party. <laughs> okay. 
Good evening. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you our students of the month from the Chattahoochee County Education Center. And I will start with our youngest student of the month, Mr. Hunter Shirley in pre-K. <laughs> And I'll share with you what Hunter's teacher, Miss Richards, had to say about him. Hunter is a joy to have in my classroom. He comes to school daily with a positive attitude. He gives 100% in everything, even when the task is challenging. Hunter is a top student in my class. He can identify all of his letters of the alphabet and also their sounds. And we are working on blending sounds with hopes of Hunter becoming a beginning reader before leaving pre-K. He is an all-around great student. Congratulations, Hunter. And next, because it's very rare when you have siblings that both achieve Students of the Month during the same month. So I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit and call our fifth grade Student of the Month, Wilder Sherling, to the floor. <laughs> probably should have done it without the hat. <laughs> and here is what Wilder's teachers had to say about him. We have chosen Wilder as our fifth grade student of the month. While typically reserved in class, he has been voluntarily participating more and more each day. He always seems to be focused and will do anything requested of him. All his hard work in classes has resulted in him not only meeting both map reading and math goals, for the middle of the school year, but also resulted, resulted in growth in his BAS assessment. Finally, Wilder has a very big heart, which he has demonstrated in writing about his love for his brothers, as well as his daily interactions with his peers. We are so very proud of all that Wilder has accomplished this year, and I encourage him to keep up the hard work it is paying off. Congratulations, Wilder. <laughs> Next, we'll have our Kindergarten Student of the Month, Johan Harris Grant. <laughs> All right, and stand, turn around so Mama can get your picture. And Johan's teacher, Ms. Delisandro, had this to say about him. Johan is sweet, kind, and hardworking, and such a generous young man. He always takes pride in his work and does his very, very best. He has worked really hard in kindergarten and is an all-around excellent student. And I just want to share this tidbit. Once we shared who our Students of the Month were, we also give them a water bottle that says Student of the Month. Well, Johan lost the top of his bottle getting off the bus yesterday. He was so very heartbroken because he was proud of his achievement and his water bottle, but we replaced it this morning. But <laughs> Johan is just an awesome student and we're very proud of him. <laughs> and now our first grade student of the month, Sadie Thrower. And she's looking very pretty for the occasion. There you go, Sadie. And Sadie's teacher, Miss Williams, had this to say about her. Sadie Thrower is a self-motivated student who always comes prepared to class. She is inquisitive and loves to learn. In math and reading, Sadie strives to exceed expectations with quality work. During instructional activities, Sadie readily shares feedback with classmates on concepts that have been taught, ideas, and strategies she uses to help during assignments. Not only is Sadie a great student, she's also a great friend to her peers. Congratulations, Sadie. And our second grade student of the month is Stevie Hendricks. Stevie. And Stevie's teachers has this to say, 
Stevie is very hardworking and strives to meet and exceeds all his goals. He works well with others and is often seen with a smile on his face. He has a positive attitude and even when faced with challenges, he still tries and always gives his absolute very best. Congratulations, Stevie. And our third grade student of the month is Rusty Sapita. I don't think Rusty is with us tonight, but I will share what his teachers had to say. Rusty has made continuous improvement in academics and behavior. He always strives to be a role model and supportive to friend to all of his classmates. He is always eager to help maintain our classroom. Congratulations, Rusty. And our fourth grade student of the month is Katherine Weathers. Congratulations, Katherine. Mm -hmm. Katherine's teacher shared this about her. Katherine has shown tremendous growth in the classroom. She has been working hard to her fullest potential and is always eager to learn. She is driven and determined to understand the concepts during class. She is always willing to help her fellow classmates, make sure that no one feels left out. Catherine always shows great conduct and is very respectful. She is a great example of what a student of the month represents. And I will share when I called her to the front office to announce that she had gotten student of the month. And I said, I'm so proud of you, sweetheart. I'm so proud of all the hard work you, you've been doing. And she said, I've been working so hard for this. So I'm so very <laughs> proud of you, Catherine. Congratulations. And now we have our employee of the month who I've been putting to work already. Our employee of the month is Ms. Allen Jones, and Ms. Allen Jones works in our exceptional education department. And her colleagues had this to say about her. She is an amazing co-teacher, always willing to help all students. Every day she makes sure she understands and knows what we will be working on. She's always willing to give suggestions to help make the classroom setting a better environment. She is a great asset to CCEC and especially to our students. And I can't say that enough about her. She helps out without even being asked, for example, tonight. And she just does an amazing job with our students. So congratulations, Ms. Jones. Thank you. tonight um, with our staff members of the month because one of them got a job to get done did <laughs> um, we will start with our middle school staff member of the month and um, that is Miss Kwanjula Jackson <laughs> Miss Jackson is an amazing teacher um, come on up here and um, she comes to work every day, mm -hmm. ready to give it all she's got. And um, she taught my son last year, and it's all, you always get a different perspective when, um, when your child is being taught by the teacher. So like, like, like all parents, I ask them, what do you think about Ms. Jackson? You know, what do you think about this teacher? When I asked him about Ms. Jackson, he said, Ms. Jackson, does not play. And I said, good, that's good, that's what I want. So she's brought so much to our school, um, just such a, a great level of work ethic. She's so demanding of our students and she knows she expects the best for them and she doesn't take anything less than that. And that's why we appreciate her so much. Thank you, Ms. Jackson. Thank you. Thank you. All right, our, our high school staff member of the month um, in, in four years, this is the first time I've given this award to a coach. I've actually only given it to a non-academic um, teacher one time, so this is, this is rare. And the reason that Coach Sean Glenn is our staff member of the month, you come on up, Coach, 
is because he's, he's in the gym and he expects the same thing out of his students that Miss Jackson expects out of hers, that they come in there and he expects them to work and get better. But it's not just that. I found out early in the year that at the beginning of every class, they have to walk for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes, something like that. And Coach would find a different student each day to, to walk with. And while they were walking, he would talk with them and get to know them and find out about them. And that, that's rare. Um, he cares about who they are as a, as a person. And he cares about what's going on, how their grades are, and how he can help them. He's been a, a tremendous blessing to our school. He's also a fantastic basketball coach. So we are very proud to have him. Um, and it, you know, it's his first year. It's his first year in education, and you would never know it by his level of maturity and just the amount of um, professionalism he brings to the job each day. The coach, we appreciate you. Thank you. Go All right, Go win. now our Go win. of the month. Um, our sixth grade student of the month is Nikila Johnson. I don't believe Nikila made it tonight, but um, she was nominated by two teachers, which is rare. One said she is the sweetest, friendliest young lady that she had ever encountered. So that's pretty amazing. So Nikita Johnson. Um, our Sorry. Our seventh grade student of the month is Miss Guinevere Shilly. <laughs> Gwen's teacher says that she is hard working. She always does her best. And she is an excellent and imaginative, uh, imaginative author. She participates and is helpful to her peers. She is a joy to have in class. Congratulations, Guinevere. Our eighth grade student of the month is Braylon Miller. I don't believe Braylon's here either. Braylon was nominated multiple times. She's attentive and prompt and a mature student. She is often the first to finish assignments and then she'll help other students with theirs if they need it. Good job, Braylon. Our ninth grade student of the month is Miss Malaysia Harris. When you think about Chatco, you think about Malaysia. That is true. I didn't write. I did not write that, but I agree with it. Very true. I'm just going to talk without this mic. And talk about it. Good idea. All right. Malaysia is an amazing girl. Um, she brings so much kindness and grace to our school. She's very sweet. Um, always willing to to lend a helping hand or to give a positive wor a word or words of encouragement. She's, she's one that, you know, she's, I feel like I've watched her grow up. So we are very, very thankful to have you. Good job, Malaysia. <laughs> Our 10th grade student of the month is Mr. Cohen Pack. <laughs> Cohen is a go-getter type of student. And it's, I'll be honest with you, Cohen's one of those kids that um, when, I, when I looked 10th grade, I thought, 10th grade, I feel like he's a senior <laughs> because he's in the middle of everything, and I mean that in a good way. He's just, you see him all over the school. He's helping with this. He's helping with this project. He's just all over the place, but he brings a lot of expertise and a lot of positivity to our school. Congratulations. Our 11th grade student of the month is Iris Lachance. I, I don't believe Iris can make it, but Iris was nominated for a specific one heartbeat moment when she noticed a fellow chat co peer was down and not feeling um, well. She took time out of her day to specifically cheer them up with her kind words and a little craft. This is exactly what we love to see in our school. Thank you, Iris. And our senior uh, student of the month, uh, I doubt he's in here because he's about to play a basketball game, um, Eric Josie. 
Eric was nominated for his outstanding leadership qualities. I, I'm going to tell you a quick story about Eric. Um, right before the break, we had a JV game, and the officials forgot to show up. Um, they, they just, it was just, I mean, we, we had requested them, but they were not there. And um, so Coach Glenn said, well, I will ref, I'll be the referee in this game, but who's going to coach the team? And Eric said, Coach, I'll coach him. Now, he's a senior. And he was up and down, you know, I mean, just all into it and encouraging him. And, I mean, I, I was incredibly impressed with his attitude and his spirit. And um, I actually talked to him. I said, son, what are you going to do? What is, what, what is it that you want to do with your life? And he said, I'm not really sure. I, I kind of figured I'd just go to college and figure it out. It's not a great idea, but that's what most of us that, you know, that went to college did. Um, I said, have you thought about being a teacher? Mm -hmm. And he said, uh, I actually thought a lot about it. I said, I think you would be an amazing teacher and coach. I said, what, what is your favorite subject? He said, I love math. I said, well, I'll tell you what, son, if you're a math teacher, you can get a job anywhere, mm -hmm. anytime. Yeah. So that's what his plans are. So he's just he's got ama an amazing spirit about him and a, and a great kid. So I wanted to share that with you all. Thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks, uh, Mr. Kemp and team. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a five-minute break so that you can take pictures with your awardee in front of the stand if you'd like, and then we'll reconvene after five minutes.
Anybody else need to take advantage of the podium? All right, we're going to go ahead and move on to our next thing. Uh, we got the action agenda item um, for personnel. Um, everybody got it open. And any questions on it? Concerns? All right, do I have a motion to? Yep. Good on that? Yeah. Okay. Uh, a motion to uh, push this forward and I'm accept it as is? Sure. Uh, thank you, Teresa. Yeah, my brain's like, I was looking at Shirley. I uh, got a second? I'll second. All right, Sinead. And all in favor? All right, beautiful. All right, um, do we have anybody that signed up? We do not. All right, no one signed up to uh, talk tonight for the uh, public participation, so please take advantage of it. We like hearing from you. Um, with that, um, do I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? That's my girl, Shirley. That is what I wanted to hear. Yeah. I'll second. Uh, second by Laura. Can finally second. I love it. And uh, motion to accept that. All in favor, great. Thank you so very much. We're adjourned.